six to seven reps, but you want to be holding for one second at the top. Anyone can grab the 150s and pull some Larry Wheel stuff. Dog, right? For any of you guys out there that have a dog, I know you look at your dog every day and go, oh, looks like my dog. No, so, dude, how the f did you end up with my camera? I'll stick with this one. Yo, what is going on everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video. For any of you guys that are new here, my name is Levi and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the seven ways that I stay shredded year round. Now, I know before I've talked in videos, you know, I'm gonna bulk again, I'm going to lean out, I'm gonna do A, B, C, and D and all this other crap. So what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm gonna be staying shredded. I said it in a video prior and I made up my mind, I'm gonna stay shredded and I kinda know how to do this now and I kind of have, I would say, these things that I follow, like I just said, that I do all the time to stay shredded, okay? So, first things first, is I get my fluids in, and what do I mean by that? So, a gallon a day keeps the water retention away. I'm always filling this thing up, okay? I was doing a gallon a day, you know, like filling a gallon jug, this one specifically right here, if you guys want to cop one and you guys need to stay on it by drinking like an actual gallon, uh, code Levi at Raw Gear for the gains jug. Anyway, so I actually couldn't do the gallon anymore because I'm a faucet drinker and I will literally go up during the day and I will drink from the faucet. Why? Because I want cancer. So that's why I do that. And then I will also have coffee as well now the reason i have the coffee and this is just black coffee nothing in it so the reason i will have coffee is because caffeine in the coffee or you could i guess have a monster as well but if you guys watch my uh instagram story well, a lot of you guys probably don't deal with this and this is like hella tmi bro so sorry if it's just gonna make you uncomfortable so dude i can only drink energy drinks with like a natural caffeine source everything else if i drink it every single day um like a monster for example it's just gonna sound weird as hell Dude, that down there area hurts to piss. I'm not kidding. I know it's TMI, but like, does anyone deal with the same thing? I just have to ask. I have coffee because the caffeine in it speeds up your body. In turn, helps to burn calories. Think about it. If your body is speeding up and working a little faster, you're going to be burning more calories. So that is why we do that. So burning a little more calories while having a zero calorie drink goes a long ways. I have about, I mean, do I'll refill this thing. Yeah, first things first, I get my fluids in throughout the day, and then now we are going to down this to stay hydrated because we're going to go for a walk real quick and get some steps in for the day. Hey everyone, so the next thing that I do is I have to do some cardio for my day, all right? So I'll get on the treadmill and I'll walk, or like you guys seen before, I'll go outside and walk today decide to do it on the treadmill I feel like a treadmill gives me more of a sweat because if I'm outside you know I'm walking I'm like my lazy ass will just start walking slower for whatever reason so that's why we're on the treadmill today okay a little bit of discipline right there but one thing that I noticed is that when I was doing you know in my calorie deficit and I wouldn't do my cardio I would notice I either slightly put weight back on or just wasn't losing weight as fast as I wanted to and then I realized yo during the evening, I sit down a lot. Like I'm either editing or you know, I'll hang out with Mackenzie and then we'll kind of just sit and chill and then you know, eat some food obviously because dinner time and all that. I realized like, yo, I'm probably not getting that many steps in. So implementing cardio, even though I was like in a slight calorie deficit just because I knew there was gonna be times where I like slightly over ate one not and I was like, okay, you know, I need to just get some cardio in. So that's what we're doing right now. If I had to do this before I train, normally I'll do this at the gym too. Before my gym session, I'll warm up on the treadmill for some time. Get my cardio in just because it's hard to squeeze it in, you know, when you don't really want to do it. So I'll do it usually before the gym and we're just going to wrap it up right now to get it done with. And then we'll go head over and train with our boy James today. When you guys are doing cardio, do you just think to yourself like, why, why does it have to be this hard to get shredded? Why is it that I have to suffer in some sort of way a little bit? You could eat all the good anabolic French toast or all these anabolic whatevers, but dude, no matter what, it's a struggle. Like, why does it have to be so hard? Yo, dude, how the f did you end up with my camera? <laughs> yeah, all right, guys, so we're about to head to the gym, and it has just occurred to me, I know I just said we were heading to the gym. We're still doing that. We're still on track for what we're doing. But it's just occurred to me that I, I feel like a lot of these 17 to 19 year olds listen to hardstyle. Don't get me wrong. Me and James both like hardstyle. Hence, that's who's behind the camera right now. 
glad to have you, James. We're both glad to have you in talking about me and you guys. <laughs> anyway, so I don't understand why it's so big though, because I like it. But do you, have any of you guys listened to rock music before? Have any of you guys listened to something that has emotion behind it? Because I feel like this hard style thing is a fad and you guys are gonna like it for a little bit and then it's gonna die out. Um, but you should try listening to this. This is called Alice in Chains. If you were raised properly, parents would have showed you music like this. Most likely your dad, um, that's who showed me. So that's just my rant for the day. Now we're gonna go train and I just had to put that in there. Me, I was dreaming but with food to eat. Why they sleep and why they snooze on me? I was seizing opportunity. Now they don't know what to do with me. I keep going hard like I'm in puberty. All right, so a lot of you guys might be wondering, yo, what kind of split can I follow to you know, stay shredded year round? Guys, there's literally no effing split to stay shredded year round. Anytime you hear someone like, oh, do this to stay shredded year round for like a workout, that's effing BS, okay? All you really need is like a lot of the calorie deficit and some other things that I'm mentioning throughout this video that are gonna help, but literally there's no like split that's gonna be like, oh, it's gonna get you shredded, okay? What I follow is a split me and James honestly came up with. I don't even know how we came up with it. Structured this way too. Whether it's like push, pull, leg, or it's like bro split. So let's say for example, on Monday, I'll be doing back and buys. And then Tuesday, I'll be doing chest and tries. And then I have a dedicated shoulder day because my shoulders are such a weak point. Hence, we're doing shoulders today. So Wednesday would be shoulders and traps. And then Thursday will be legs, right? Pete. So then we'll do on Friday, back and buys. And then on Saturday, chest and tries. Sunday's a rest day or a day where I can do some cardio because I'd be lacking those morning walks, I'm not gonna lie. On Monday, it'll uh, we'll pick up where we started off. So during the week, you have two days where you repeat the workout that you've already done for that week. That's just a split them on. It's not promised to get you shredded. No other one is. I'm just letting you guys know what it is, okay? We call it the Max Split Banana. In my blood, there ain't no rule in me. Coming for the top, this is a new in me. everyone so with traps we follow the go heavy or go home method just because this like honestly your traps are really just built off of heavy weight so hence that's why I grabbed the 90s and that's why I'm about to like tip over right now I mean I can barely even hold these things I'm surprised I can bench them my little ass so yeah we just hit them for, like six to seven reps but you want to be holding for one second at the top anyone can grab the 150s and be like pull some Larry wheel stuff okay so just go up hold just like that Just like that, that's how you do traps. If you're trapping like me, if you're trapping the right way, I got walk on me, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, let's go home. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm training, I start to get really hungry, so that's what we're gonna go do. James, we appreciate you having Hey pal, you just blowing from stupid time? My grammar is so bad, guys, I barely sleep anymore. Good morning. Here, come get it. Oh, come on. All right, guys, so next step I'm gonna give you to staying shredded year round is eat like a dog, all right? For any of you guys out there that have a dog, I know you look at your dog every day and go, huh, looks like my dog, right? Well, I mean, because it is your dog. But another reason is because you're giving them the same thing every day, right? A dog eats kibble every day, you give them about the same amount every day, you give them like a cup, they're gonna look the same. But if you give them more than a cup, they're gonna gain weight. Kind of like us, right? So if you're in a caloric you know, surplus, you're gonna start gaining weight. And if you're in a calorie deficit, you're gonna start losing weight, right? So if you set a diet for yourself, right, to lose weight, you're gonna start burning calories, you're gonna start getting skinnier, right? You're gonna start losing weight. But what I mean by saying, you know, eat like a dog is eat the same thing every day. And meal prepping is gonna go a long way in helping you with that just because have meals prepped for yourself and then it'll be easier for you to eat something the next day because I think what happens is a lot of times when people are trying to lose weight, they get tired of eating the same thing over and over again. And they try to eat something different and then when they try to eat something different, it's something with more calories and then they just fall off track and then they start eating more calories than they like think they're eating and then it becomes this whole mess. So if you eat like a dog. I've been really trying. Yeah, sorry about that. Can we cut that? Okay. Eating like a dog will really help you. I do it. I mean, I eat the same thing in all my full days of eating, guys. I've literally eaten oatmeal and peanut butter and honey with an apple for the past 
you know, three videos of a full day of eating. So eat like a dog, it'll help you a lot. I'm gonna go to the grocery store because I need to grab some things to help myself eat like a dog. So I'll see you guys. So the next thing that I do to say shredded year round is I don't buy things that I know I'm gonna eat. And I also don't go shopping when I'm hungry, okay? This whole rule or thing that I have going on or tip I have for you guys is if you don't have it, you won't eat it, okay? So don't buy it, you won't eat it, get it? Because if you have this laying around at home, right? You might be like, oh, Levi, the macros for these popcorners are super healthy. Well, guys, if you're like me, you're not a normal person. You're not gonna just eat the serving size. You're gonna eat the whole effing bag, okay? So let's be realistic about this. 140 calories, seven servings, that's a thousand calories down. I would eat this whole bag if I bought it, logistically. And I know you guys would too, so I'm not gonna buy it because I wanna stay shredded year round. So if I don't have it at home, I'm not gonna eat it. So don't buy it and you won't eat it. That's rule number whatever it is. And now we're gonna head out of here and James is probably gonna get his peanut butter pretzels and eat it when he gets home. Cause that's, guess what, he bought it. Whoa, well, what are you doing? Cut. Everyone. So I'm just going on a walk today. I got to finish up my steps. I'm already at like 10,000. Nice to hit. So I just wanted to say to you guys real quick, a lot of you guys that watch my YouTube, I just want to give a huge, huge thank you to you guys that do watch it. It's not a lot of you guys. It just sucks seeing not a majority of my subs, you know, watching the videos and whatnot. It's really hard just because I'm putting hours and hours and hours into these videos. I'm not asking you guys to feel sorry for me. What I'm trying to say is I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that is watching. You know, eventually the channel will blow up. It's just hard because, you know, I mean, there's a lot of effort put into the videos. You guys know like the quality that I put into the videos is not just some mediocre, I toss together a video and then just like toss it out there. No, it's like legitimate, you know, quality videos. I learned a lot of editing stuff from Jesse when we clapped and it's just been, it's literally just been one of the hardest things. It's very emotionally draining. I hate to be around, you know, my friends, my girlfriend, my family and being very sad and upset around them. And it really just sucks. But I told myself, you know, there's no more like excuses about anything like this summer, we're gonna make it happen. And that's kind of the plan. I don't want this to be like a sad sop story on the YouTube. So, you know, I just wanted to say thank you to you guys. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. Anyone that uses like my code, just a view, literally a view is like bigger than using my code to me. Seriously, it really is. Like, so if you guys clicked on this video and you watched it, just comment down below, Levi, we hate you. I'm just kidding, no, comment just something, whatever you guys feel like commenting helps the algorithm a lot but we're gonna go inside I'm gonna go I haven't showered at all today guys literally I just work so much I forget to shower sometimes I forget to eat literally it's just been I've been through the ringer lately guys so but I'll see you guys inside I started eating before I started recording. All right, back to be quiet. People are watching TV in the house. Anyways, guys, so something else I do, okay? I know, I know, guys. I know how hard it is. Night time, the pantry's calling your name. Literally, it does. It literally says your name. It goes, Levi, Jimmy, Neutron. Literally calls your name, and you want to go eat late at night, okay? So one thing I started doing, because I watched Eric Ogle do this, we were in Texas. Shout out to you, Eric. I need to stop chewing with my mouth open. Hold on, let me finish this. Increase in violence. He would grab a salad at night or he would just eat salads periodically throughout the day because the dude was only eating 2200 calories and he's like five inches taller than me and has a lot more just mass overall on him. So I started eating salads and I found out that salads would really help to take up volume on my stomach and they're only like they're low calories like 30 calories in this whole bag. Like that's insane and I already ate you know, I've had three, I guess, servings, and there was only one serving. So I have one of these, but I'm gonna actually exchange a salad right here for this right here. Where did it go? Oh, that's when I touched my ice cream. I was wondering. But I'm gonna exchange it for this and go up to my room. So I'm gonna finish this and then head up to my room for like the last tip and fish video. As I said, I exchanged that stupid salad for something even better. Okay, by the way, guys. 
Fair Life ice cream, check this out, all right? So if you can spare, you know, a few more extra calories, right, for some taste, I'm telling you this is the way to go, okay? There's Archer Farms as well, but it's actually really hard to find. You can find Fair Life at multiple places other than just Target, which is the, pretty much the only place I can find Archer Farms. That and Walmart, I believe, so I get this just because it's close and convenient to my house and it tastes really good. 440 total calories compared to Halo Top. That's like usually, you know, 360s for at least the good flavors. I mean, strawberry is all right. I'll give credit there. By the way, guys, yeah, I haven't showered yet still. I've just been, honestly, look, look at, look at my work setup. I'm just gonna show you guys, look. So I got my monitor, everything right there. And you can see the light right here for the room and the camera on the lighting. So yeah, so I guess I should just get going on with the last and final thing, the seventh thing. So guys, I usually have just my little snack, my little sweet tooth breaker for the day just because, man, I really want it. And some days I don't have it. If I feel like I don't deserve it, I won't have it. I'm a pretty disciplined person. I'm self-disciplined, self-motivated. So if I feel like, you know, I don't want ice cream, then I won't have ice cream. But if I do feel like I need ice cream, then I'll have ice cream. And I also just spread this out. I also don't have this just in one sitting, you know, per night. I'd have to buy a lot. And this stuff is not cheap, neither is Halo Top. So my suggestion to you guys is have something that's low in calorie and sweet at night, you know, just to kind of, I would say, just satisfy your cravings, you know, because if you don't satisfy your cravings every once in a while, you're gonna binge eat. And I've done with binge eating before. I did a video on it before. That's gonna do it for the video, guys. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a like. I'm always talking with my mouth open on this channel. Don't worry about it. But if you guys liked it, like I said, give it a like. If you guys want to comment anything down below, be sure to comment it. And if you guys are new here, do not forget to press that subscribe button because you guys I know why. You know, blah, 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 blah. know I will be back. And until next time, guys, enjoy your fair life. This guy is literally the limit. So strong